Well, sir, you look pretty calm and cool already. Hope so. Any butterflies tonight, sir? Where? <laughs> I don't know. In your stomach. No, no, I hope I don't fall asleep during this program. <laughs> the national debate. It's true the government have been doing some cooking on the figures. We don't believe that the future or the present is gloomy, as you, as Mr. Douglas seems to believe. I think we have very real problems, all right. Did you watch the national debate on television last night? Yeah, I watched it for a little while. I didn't watch it. Why not? Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't believe anything those guys are saying anyway. You didn't listen to it on radio? I was working in the art. Yeah. Just shut it up. <laughs> I did, that's what I did, I shot a dog. I like it very, very, enjoyed it very, very much. Did you stick with it to the end? Yes, I didn't think the questions were any good. You didn't? No. I mean, the beat around the bush that blooming much. I didn't think that we could have... It wasn't a debate anyway, they should have been arguing back and forward between themselves. Do you think it would have influenced anyone in the way they're voting? Well, I wouldn't think so. No, I wouldn't think so. Especially not the Western farmer, I don't think. Do you think that a TV debate like this has got a place in a modern campaign? I, I, I definitely think so. It has the place. Because it reaches so many people instead of going to the noisy little meetings on supermarkets. The great debate was something less than a great success if public enlightenment was its purpose. Canadian television, given its great opportunity, failed to fulfill its promise.